In this video, we will see how to find the derivative of logarithmic functions. While talking about log or logarithmic functions, the function that immediately came into our mind is y is equal to log of x with base a, where a is a constant and x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. This is the general form of logarithmic function. Now let's see how to find its derivative. We will use definition of derivative for this. So the very first step is adding change on both sides. So y plus delta y is equal to log of x plus delta x with base a. Now we will find the difference of this and this term and we will get y plus delta y minus y is equal to log of base a x plus delta x minus log of x with base a. So we will use the properties of logarithmic functions here. This will turns out because there is a negative sign so we will write x plus delta x by x. Now the next step is dividing both sides by the change. Here we will get delta y and dividing by change log of we can simplify it and this will turns out 1 plus delta x by x so and it's also divided by change so 1 by delta x in order to evaluate the limit that we will apply limit on on both sides that delta x approaches to 0 so in order to evaluate limit we have to apply some theorems of logarithmic function. So for the sake of clarity, we have to multiply and divide this whole expression with x. So we will multiply and divide this whole expression with x. And the thing that we are interested in is x by delta x as this x and this delta x here log of 1 plus delta x by x with base a and 1 by x here. By using laws of logarithmic or the properties of logarithmic functions, this x by delta x will goes to the power of this function, which means that 1 by x, this 1 by x goes to and as x by delta x this value comes as the power of 1 plus delta x by x and 1 by x is this so we will apply limit that delta x approaches to 0 so applying limit on both sides delta x approaches to 0 and this will So by using laws of limit and the properties of logarithmic functions, this limit will forward it in, in this bracket that it will only be solved under this bracket. So we can write it as, so this is 1 by x log with base a and the limit x delta x approaches to 0 1 plus delta x by x to the power x by delta x as we know delta x approaches to 0 which means that delta x by x also should also approach to 0 because delta x is smaller than x and this expression will be 
smaller than delta x because x is very large value than delta x so we can use delta x by x approaches to 0 if we know the delta x approaches to 0 so we will use this information in evaluating this limit and there is another limit formula that limit u approaches to 0 if 1 plus u raised to the power 1 by u if 1 plus u raised to the power 1 by u and the limit here is u approaches to 0 then this will be equal to e that is exponential it's a very common constant having a value about 2.7128 so this expression or this limit will be of the same type that is 1 plus delta x by x and the power has a reciprocal of this thing delta x by x that is x by delta x and also limit approaches to 0 that if we take delta x by x approaches to 0 because as we know delta x approaches to 0 so delta x by x also approaches to 0 so here we can write delta x by x approaches to 0 then this whole thing must be equal to e that is exponential constant so we will use this so we can write 1 by x log this whole thing will be equal to e so log of e with base a we can use a property of logarithmic function that log of e with base a also written as log of a with base e that we can interchange e and a with the help of this thing and we also know that log of a with base e that log with the base e is equal to natural log of a and this is eventually the rate of change of logarithmic function of any logarithmic function with base a and by finding the rate of change of this basic logarithmic function we will get 1 by x into 1 by natural log of a so this is the derivative of logarithmic function let's take an example this is the example log of ax square plus b where 9 is the base and a or b are constant so let's find the rate of change of log ax square plus b with base 9 because we have proved that logarithmic function has derivative of the form 1 by x into 1 by natural log of a so 1 by x which means that 1 by ax square plus b into 1 by natural log of a where a is equal to 9 so natural log of 9 into the rate of change of ax square plus b d by dx of a x square plus b which is equal to 1 by a x square plus b 1 by natural log of 9 so rate of change of a x square plus b is equal to 2 a x and b is a constant so 0 and you can also write it as a x square plus b and natural log of 9 so this is the answer this is the rate of change of this type of logarithmic function and it is really easy to find the derivative of logarithmic function so in the next video we will talk about a special case of logarithmic function so stay tuned goodbye